Because we found when we started studying out that God has two things on his mind all the time. One is his word, and two is me. So two things God thinks about all the time is you and his word. You and his word. Now, when you go to Matthew chapter 4, it talks about, uh, let's just go there real quick. Matthew chapter 4, I think around that fourth verse. Let me get over here to make sure. Say this with me while we're going to the devil does not want me to receive nor understand God's word. See, because when you get to Matthew 4, I think I want verse 4. Yeah. I want y'all to read that. I want y'all to read that because I'm trying to show you how important the word of God is in your life. Ready? Read it. So it is possible. We, we, we have scripture where men have fasted 40 days. Jesus fasted 40 days. So that means he didn't eat any physical food for 40 days. So what did he survive off of for 40 days? Nothing but the word of God. So the devil doesn't want me to work, uh, know the word because the word in itself is life sustaining. See, he doesn't care about you being religious because there's really no power in the spirit of religion. Seeing what the spirit of religion is, that might you go to church, but ain't the church not in you. You hear the word, but you're not putting the word in you. So you might learn how to say hallelujah, praise the Lord, and know how to look religious, but there's no word in you. Say this with me, the power, the power is, in the word. is in the word. That's good, Holy Ghost. He just told me, go to Hebrews chapter 1. Now, all of the, oh, glory. See, this is the season, yeah, I got to say that, of Yom Kippur. Everybody say Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. And, and according to Jewish tradition, Yom Kippur means the day of atonement. The term atonement means at oneness with God. So because of what God did in the past, and in the past, a sacrifice was always necessary for the exchange of sin. Yeah. Something had to play the part of the substitute. Something had to be there between you and God or you and sin and God. That something happens to be Jesus Christ. But in the old covenant, or the Old Testament times, it would be turtle doves. Somebody said, what is a turtle dove? You see the little gray dove you see in your yard sometimes, the flying, that's a turtle dove. See, you got white doves, you got the turtle doves because they brown or other colors. So, turtle doves, bulls, goats, sheep, whatever God would require you to go out and get in exchange for the sacrifice. So Yom Kippur, or the Day of Atonement, meant that all through the Old Covenant, I showed you this before, all God did was cover our sins. Well, that's simply because the blood of goats, bulls, sheep, turtle doves was not significant enough, or let me say it like this, wasn't strong enough wasn't, wasn't powerful enough to remove the sin. It would just cover, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> cover the sin. So that really meant sin was still there. But it was covered. It was covered. Now, now, now your children had to do something real bad for you just to put them out. Tell them don't never come back to the house. But they're still your children, and there's something in you that's going to always cause you to love them. Amen. You may even say, well, you can come to the house as long as I'm home. Some of y'all might have some kinfolk like that. 
They're all right. They can be at the house as long as you're there because you don't want to leave them there. And when you come back, your DVD gone. <laughs> the big screen off the wall is gone. Where you thought you hid your jewelry and everything, they done got that too. So, but because they're your relatives and you love them, as long as you're there, they can say, but when I leave, you got to go with me. You might not have to get in the same car with me, but you got to leave here. And it's your love that even though you had to depart from them, that caused you to still cover them. So all through the Old Testament, like what we just read, even though they broke his covenant, he still fixed it where he covered them. And he covered them with sacrificial blood. What makes it so powerful in the life of Jesus that the blood that he shed is the very blood of God Almighty? And that blood is so strong till it's able not only to cover sin, but it removes sin. That's why a person could have HIV, get in contact with Jesus, lupus, anything else, any type of blood disorder, get in contact with Jesus, get your faith stirred, that healing anointing gets on them, they go back to the doctor, the cancer gone. Come on up in here. They don't have HIV anymore. Come on up in here. The tumor has dissipated. Why? Because the blood of Jesus, what, what's in that DNA, what makes up that blood is so powerful to no germ, disease, even the germ of sin could annihilate it. Whatever that blood contacts, it takes it out. That's why when you get, if you got a white shirt on, you mess around and get blood on it, you can't never get the blood out. I don't care what you use. If you don't get it in time and really know what to do with it, to deal with it, it, it you, it'll always be a little brown spot. Yep. That's how strong blood, on a white cloth. So when we look at the blood of Jesus, it was so powerful that it is the actuator. Now, I want to show you some terms that the scripture used to describe who Jesus is. Now, I told you to go where I said, go Hebrews chapter 1. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Hebrews chapter 1. In Hebrews chapter 1, listen to this. God, I'm at verse 1, in sundries, who at sundry time. And in divers' manner, speck in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Who being, now it's talking about Jesus. See, when you talk about the book of Hebrews, I was just sharing in the back. The book of Hebrews really is the Jesus book. Because yeah. it describes who Jesus is, what he did for us, just the total summation when you start reading through Hebrews. Watch. It says, who being the brightness of his glory and the expressed image of his person. And upholding all things. See, that's why the devil don't want you to get the word by the word of his power. Everybody say his power in the word. Power. Come on, say it again. His power in the word. Power. Uphold all things by the power of the word. When he had himself purged, when he had himself purged, read it. Our sins. Our sins. So, so now watch. That blood was so powerful to not only... Is it enough power in that blood? Why did they to cover my sins? But it's so much power in it 
to when my great, 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 if the Lord should tarry, when my great, 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 great grandchildren get here, that blood will still be potent enough to purge their sins. Yeah. 